Welcome back guys to Trails of Cold Steel 4, where last episode the Knight of Promises began with so many friends to talk to, so we chose to start from the wharf, where we watched two star-crossed fishers fail to make a catch before heading through the many areas of Michelin Center, witnessing Instructor Makarov getting put in a bind of his niece Mint's making by her telling Instructor Mary's father about a proposal he was soon to make. With more areas of Michelin Wonderland yet to visit, we continue mingling with our friends. Hey Toval, Major Michael, out for a couple of drinks? You know it. And I think of it, I never got the chance to properly thank you for helping me back in the mayor. Couldn't have stopped those railway cannons without you, Zero Artisan. Hey, it was a team effort. We wouldn't have gotten far without you in command. Anyhow, it's nice to know about work. Drink up. Let's enjoy ourselves. <laughs> I didn't realise you were such a lush. To tell you the truth, I'm not. I can drink me under the table any day of the week. She's proven that time and time again. Just a question. Is there a single guy that can hold their liquor compared to most of the girls that get mentioned? I'd first save my liquor, or save my liquor, but with her it always turns into some drink kind of contest. Drunks like her are always... Makes sense that the head of the girls here can hold a liquor, I guess. I feel your pain, Doble. It's the same for me whenever I go out with Principal Aurelia. She just keeps chugging drinks like there's no tomorrow and she expects me to try and match her pace. Taking the time to enjoy the flavour and aroma of each drink is much more my style. You said it. Who knew you and I had so much in common? My thoughts exactly. Nice to see you these two hitting it off. Kind of think of it, they both have a similar outlook on life. I'm surprised they weren't already friends before now. Also, same for me. But not with drinks. With Jaffa Cakes. A box of Jaffa Cakes sits on the desk. Ten Jaffa Cakes are in a pack. How much percent do you reckon I get? Sitting there, savouring it. I nibble. I like go, mmm, yeah, it's nice, yeah. No. Several bites for one Jaffa cake's about that big. Becca. <laughs> I get possibly 30% of a box of Jaffa cakes. 20 to 30%. <laughs> I'm not done with my second one, but before Becca's finished, she loves Jaffa cakes. <laughs> oh, the best kind of drinking partner is one that can match your pace. <sighs> I wonder where Claire is right now. He doesn't usually show it, but it seems like he's really worried about Claire after all. I'm definitely a sip and saver. So Reed, you play Vantage Masters? I do, and since you're asking, I'm guessing you do too. Oh yeah, I've liked games like these ever since I was a kid. Since we've got a little time on our hands, what do you say we play a couple of rounds? I'm even up the ante a little. You beat me, I'll give you a special prize. Oh, a pitch like that, how could I say no? We can now play Vantage Masters against Doble. Let's go. What was the last, uh... Did I get any cards for the last game? My gorb! I don't think I did, did I? I think I did. Let's get this game going. You're the crate, the magic crystal type. That makes sense. Why am I always first? My gorm! <laughs> well, Samuel Penn's pretty nice to have early. We can summon out on the first turn and see them on the second. There's a Greon coming up too. Of course, we kind of have to go straight for the throat here. I guess I'll summon the Zamel on the secondary row. Too bad I can't use the skill as well. Using both would be great. Okay, we see what's going on a bit. The question is, do I have to seal on this turn? Alright, and luckily Earth has power over water here. <laughs> So I'm kind of a bit knocked for that one. I guess I won't seal this turn. I'll attack there because it's zero damage. I unfortunately didn't have anyone that could do anything else. Because all my head cards are seven. But next turn I can start playing. Agree on is a good 10 damage straight away. And that will do monstrously against the Sorcerer. Because counter attack damage. Except now there will be one. The Kyria Bell being in means the Grion would be great. Because I could fire against the Kyria Bell and then... So that'd be pretty good. 
be pretty good indeed. So what do I do from here? I can keep the Zalma pen alive. Let's just summon the Creon out. Attack out to there. Attack to here. Keep buffing my mans up here. He's getting a bit hard to cope with. So now it's whatever cards you have. If you've got a road hitting card, that's going to be really handy. Well, that's a thing. That's indeed a thing, but, uh, oh, we won. Hey, you're not half bad. Quick caliber five was obtained for the victory. That was a quick win. I'll throw in a little extra for you this one time. Have some fun with it. Another Mission in Wonderland ticket. I've got seven now. Oh, nice, thanks. Can I use one of them or not? Guess who just found out he has the same taste in booze as Major Evan? This guy. Nah, honestly, I've never felt closer to him. Quick caliber five. Let's have a look, see. ATS up, ADF plus 50 as well. Time to cast arts is cut by 33%. If I want faster, 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 faster arts, there we go. Let's see who's got one. Yeah. Faster! Faster, fast! <laughs> Gotta go fast! <laughs> Gotta go fast! Ah, the best kind of drinking partner is one who can match your own pace. Ah, I wonder what Claire is right now. Is Claire a good drinking partner, then? I sent her a harmonica. Wow, the place has been jam-packed with smoking babes tonight. Oh, any chance one of them might rent a swimsuit and head down to the beach? I'll rent one. Give me your sexiest one you have. I'm not the thought of tomorrow any more than the next guy. I've seen a bikini-clad goddess or two would lift my spirits. Would it? That all it would lift? I don't know one of those gals decides to suit off the beach. Can't hate to see him go, but love to watch him leave if they never go to begin with. Hey. Sydney's spirit animal. Good evening. I hope you enjoy your time here at Michelin. The establishments inside the centre are all open for your convenience. They have plenty of trinkets and souvenirs for you to take home. Why not step inside and have a browse? Just set. Secretary Lucy, Lieutenant Kayla. Good to see you. I didn't know you were invited. Well, the Prince was kind enough to reach out to us. We don't get too many chances to relax and forget about work, so we're going to make the most of tonight. By the way, Josette, I'm really glad I got to thank you in person again. Oh, what for? I helped ship those rogue Hercules members back to Calvert. Or rather, I organised it. Don and Carl were the ones who actually put them on the bobcat and took them across the border. Uh, so that's how you work things out. That's right. The capital delivery service always comes through in a pinch. Lucy had introduced me to Josette previously, and she seemed like the perfect choice to handle this matter. We're lucky to have a friend like you, Josette. By the way, I've heard some fairly interesting rumours about your love life. What? Is it true you and Chloe are both interested in the same guy? Bit of the past. But where did you... Oh, right, I forgot you and Chloe are so tight. Love trying with Princess Claudia. That does sound interesting. Not you too, Kayla. But that's all in the past now. And besides, I've finally made up my mind about the whole thing. If you two find romance such a fascinating subject, how about you tell me about things on your end? Oh, I'm so sorry, but I couldn't possibly disclose that kind of personal information. CID regulations. Well, that isn't fair. Then it's your turn, Lucy. I doubt you have any kind of trouble getting guys. Isn't there anyone you're into right now? Oh, I don't know. I know it's not the same, but there's a guy in my life who I find completely infuriating. In fact, I wish he were here right now so I could punch him in his stupid, handsome face. Uh, Lucy? Seems just that's not the only one in a messy romantic situation. <laughs> that to have been about Major Lecter, right? Let's throw it back to you, Josette. Right, there's so much more I wanted to ask you. Oh, come on, you didn't. You two didn't tell me anything. Seems like a good time for me to duck out. Not that there's anything I can contribute to this subject. Oh no, girls talk's fun. So stop trying to pry into that, got it? It's been over two years. I've been thinking it'd be a good idea to try and think about moving on anyway two years later. 
I'm only interested in my work, okay? Wow, looks like she's been through a lot. Uh, looks like Josette's got some circumstances of her own. As a member of the CID, I kind of want to get to the bottom of this. Yeah, as a member of the CID. Sure, that's the reason. <laughs> I never imagined Kayla to be so full of curiosity. As I thought, nothing helps women bond like a little girl talk. <laughs> that's where my allegiances lie. Let's go to Lakeside Beach. Alright, there's some green quest events here. Wait, there's a quest event here? That's a quest event here. There's multiple other sub-events too. There's a drinking competition about to go down, right? Phew, welcome. We'll let you bring any ingredients you want to our drink stand. Any ingredients. So why not cut your favorites on over, stir up your own original cocktail, and enjoy a glass? Of course, we only permit minors to drink non alcoholic cocktails. We're very strict on that. Mixing up original cocktails sounds like it'd be a fun activity to do with someone. Who would be interested? Alright, this is an event. Machius is a star! <laughs> oh, okay, that's a ticket worthy event. Wait a second, who was on this again? It's nice and quiet on the lakeside. Makes for a great place for some evening relaxation. Bring ingredients to make your own original cocktail. It's a whole lot of fun. Let's get drinks with Emma. That'd be cool. I don't know whether to do a quest event even yet. What's going on here, lifeguard Adula? Welcome to Lakeside Beach. It's pretty romantic this time of night. Much more than it is in the day. As you're a special ticket holder, you can have two sparklers for each ticket. So how's about you enjoy some sparklers by the beach? It's a perfect way to take in the lake. So this is another event, sparklers by the beach. You can take Yuna, Altina, Fee, Alfin, Ash, Eusis, or Duvali. Duvali! <laughs> take Duvali. These handheld fireworks are pure rocking. It's strange. I've used explosives for mining more times than I can count, but I never imagined they could be used to create something so beautiful. Beautiful is right. The sound they make going off is nice, and the smell is oddly relaxing. It's like the modern music club is having themselves a fun little fireworks show. Fireworks, sir? Pretty sure I figured out how they tick. Indeed, I imagine we could make our own if we looked at them as an offshoot of standard munitions. Calm down, you two. Let's enjoy the moment for what it is. She's in the right there. Stop trying to dissect it and just enjoy it. What a table. Reen! Hello again. So, Reen, what do you think of Michelin Resort at night? It's great. Honestly, at my age, I wasn't expecting to enjoy it so much. This place really is amazing. That's what we crossbuttons like to hear. Oh, and Cecile, good work on the Emperor's surgery. It must be really tense. Oh, thank you. Of course, the patient will still be in recovery for a while, but even Dr. Salen admitted that this operation went more smoothly than any she'd ever done before. I do believe His Majesty will be alright. That's a relief. Thank you so much for everything you've done for him. Yeah, that's such great news. Serene, who are you here with tonight? Randy was saying you were just as popular with the ladies as Lloyd, so there's no way you're here about a date, right? Uh, uh, sounds like Randy's been putting weird ideas in your head again, Kia. <laughs> as he is wont to do. Although, you might want to think about how you got that reputation, Lloyd. <laughs> she has a point. Not you guys, too. <laughs> I didn't realise it before, but Lloyd's got his fair share of problems to deal with. Speaking of Randy, I think he and Tia were going to go watch the Mishi show together. That's right, they're going to come meet up with us once it's finished. I said Yuna would be with them too. I can't wait to see her again. I don't want to interrupt their reunion. I'll go look around somewhere else. I just noticed and looked over the chat. I'm not actually connected to the chat anymore. I can't see what anyone's putting for ages. I'm, I'm unable to connect with the chat. I don't know if anyone can even see me anymore. <laughs> oh, I don't know anymore. <laughs> Speaking of Randy, I think he and Tia were going to go watch the Mission Show together. 
That's right, they're gonna come meet up with us once it's finished. They said Yuna would be with them too. I can't wait to see her again. I'll just keep continuing, right? <laughs> well, I'm glad you guys are having your fun. But Reen, if you and me ever got to drinking together, I'm sure we'd have a whole slew of things to talk about. We should go get Brandy and go for a boys' night out. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Speaking of Randy, I think he and T were going, oh, okay, we'll go back round to this again. That's weird. How long has that been? <laughs> I was just in the flow of talking to everyone. Oh, Freddy's on a cookout. Oh, I rejoined the chat. Yeah. What's this malformed smell? Oh, this here instructor is shellfish. Freshly picked from the beach and steamed in perfection. Mix in some succulent fresh water beetles too to add some extra zest to the recipe, you know. Want some? Ah, sounds like a classic Freddy dish. I've shot him down every time he's offered me one of his creations. I'd better try one so I don't hurt his feelings. Okay, serve me up. Now we're talking. Freddy served up a helping of his novelty cuisine, which Reen shoved into his mouth with commendable bravery. It has a peculiar taste, but it really grows on you. Freddy's cooking isn't bad as long as you just blank out, well, everything that goes into it. Thanks, Freddy. It really was delicious. I'm amazed you could put together a first-class meal in this setting. Oh, I'm making me blush, instructor. Glad you liked it. Bring your cover 200 CP. Do I need that? Makes me happy to see people enjoy my cooking. And since I got your seal of approval, I'll serve it to Pablo and the other guys next. It's good stuff. There's vantage masses up there as well. What's this? Seeing these lanterns floating on the lake reminds me of the ones during Orders and Summer Festival. There we go. Perfect. I should send this to Rex when I get a chance. That makes sense. Is Rex not here? Can't I just give it to him? Should I send Rex the photo to you? Yes. Hey, how's it hanging? Let me take a peek at the goods. Whoa, not bad. Here's a little something for your troubles. Photo of Tio and Kia. Huh, thanks. Boys Unity rating has increased. I'm sure there's book notes and stuff I can hand in too. Ah, that. Of course they're there. We've got to check that out, haven't we? Can I send these off at any point in time? Oh, I can! These earrings are just lovely, Reen. Sophisticated, even. Well, then that's just perfect for you, isn't it? I'm sure it'll look great on you. I hope you like them. Any kind of gift from you would fill my heart with joy, Reen. These earrings are especially beautiful. I can't wait to try them on. Consider them my new favourite pair. Besides, who doesn't love to be gifted jewellery? If you're happy, so am I. Strength and ATS increased by free for Reen. We'll give the light beam rosary. A rosary? Wow, it's just stunning, Reen. Thank you for such a one-of-a-kind gift. You must have really gone out of your way for this. Oh, no, not at all. And even though I did, I got to see what that beautiful smile of yours, so it was worth it. You're such a sap. ADS and ADF increased by 15 for Elisa. Two for Reem. The Gilded Ultramarine Cameo. This is base. An antique shell cameo. What a splendid gift. Thank you, Schwarzer. I've acquired quite a number of intriguing art pieces in my time as a noblewoman. This will make a fine addition to my collection. Oh, I had no idea you were an art collector. I picked this gift for you to thank you for all your help and guidance. Ah, your chivalry knows no bounds, does it? And I'm going to gift you this in return. A Goldia bracelet. A Goldia bracelet? I don't know if it's alright for me to accept something so valuable. It's a fair trade for the cameo. I hope it helps you in your endeavours. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Oh yeah, we, we went there to see the picture, not give gifts. I thought it would be a fun one of them just pally together. Goldia bracelet. Oh, whoa! Yeah! That's gonna be some thought. No wonder it's valuable. Now, I'd love to do this quest at this point in time, to be fair. But once I do the quest, people will move and their dialogue will change. So really, I should finish the sweep before I even do the quest, because they'll probably end up here and won't reset. It's what I'd imagine. 
So we're going to continue the talking side of the sweep with some games thrown in. Wow, Yusis, look at all the lights. I've got to say, it's pretty romantic. It's not bad, I suppose. The scenery is far from traditional, but that grants it an elegance in and of itself. Ah, he started again. Can you just say you're happy you're, we're able to share this scenery together? Sure, that as well. Huh? So this is where you two have been. Oh, Reen! You just seem to be enjoying yourselves. Am I interrupting something? I don't know what you could possibly mean. Yeah, it'd be a waste for just the two of us to enjoy this all by ourselves. Wait, me being here isn't the reason everyone's staying away, is it? Of course not. Just look at Min and Margarita. They shouldn't have any trouble having fun with you. Everyone who needs to know is already in the loop. You don't need to overthink things. Okay, if you say so. Should we mosey on over to the theme park soon? I want to take a look around anyway. Let's leave this place to other couples, yeah? We're going to that way. Though I do hope you're not implying that we're a couple. Oh, looks like someone's getting embarrassed. She really hasn't changed one bit. Although... I really didn't think we'd get to spend time together like this again. I was so sure that all I could do was watch over you guys from Vin the Sword. I've got the main to thank for that. And of course I should thank all of you too. Million. We didn't play a part in that, you know. It was all due to the maiden. Nah, I think more went into it than you care than you think. You guys have always cared for me so much, you know. And I could feel that clear as day, even when I was in the sword. All that affection is what really helped me to get out. I'm just sad I can't get a hug in this form. I see. Don't worry. I find it well that we can even be together and chat on a night like this. What more could we wish for than that? Oh. You sis. Hiya! Uh, enough! A lady your age shouldn't be so indecent. Well, it's not like we're actually touching, so it's okay, right? You're up next, Reen. I think I'll pass on that. She's just hovering. I don't think maybe old Tina would like a hug. Oh, that's true. Time to go hugging crazy at the theme park. Oh, don't just stand there and encourage her. Come on now, Milliam. You're blocking the view. Well, the only one who knows what comes next is Alias herself. Also, you said I play you sis. She's partially transparent. You can see through her a little bit. Yeah. Well, uh, well the only one who knows what comes next is Alias herself. I'm happy for them both. Oh, I was hoping he was still just locked onto him. <sighs> Minion's as loud and rowdy as ever. Given the situation, it might be better for things to be lively tonight. Indeed. Mm -hmm. We've got to meet up with Tilly and the others later. Oh, by the way, you played Vantage Masters, don't you, Reen? I just got some new cards from Crow. After combining them with the ones I got off you, sis, I've made a pretty impressive deck. We should play when you've got a sec. You got it. I'm more than willing to take you on. Another Vantage Masters game. This time against Milliam is available. I guess Eusis is playing the cards for her? Oh, okay, I'm game. The spirit card, what makes sense? <laughs> so exciting! Did you have to start with he 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 standing ghostly? Oh, I'm not first. I guess that's not a bad first set of cards. One to help us just in case. It's your turn. Come and attack me. Start with Curia Bell, eh? Clever going to range and all. Okay, Macgorb. Allows the target to act again. Cost three mana. So really I've got to work on whittling her cards down. Well, it's kind of nasty, isn't it? Kind of probably best I get rid. Now, the question comes to what I'm playing here. Because I would like more mana. And I can power up something. But if it gets nuked out, I'll be very upset. I'll go with the Zamel. Maybe seal the spirit for one turn. 
Stop it trying to give someone another go. Solid moves there. I've got lots of Mark Gars myself. Ah, it's a flying card. That's why he got to attack straight off. Well, I'll use the Kyria Bell to do that first of all, which allows me to hit into the back and to take no damage from that. I can also heal the Zavalpen, to be perfectly fair. Should I attack or seal? Because I'm thinking, look at the damage I've got on the board. I know she, like, will gain attack, but if there's nothing at the front, I can finish this. And with the Mark Golfs being flying, I can also go on another source of attack. So what are you summoning? Yeah, that's what I expected. Oh, beautiful! That was dumb! Look at the damage I can just put. Yeah, nothing really gaining attack here. Even the Kyria Bell can attack. My Gorb! No! No fair! I mean, I have some really good cards. We got a spirit card, finally. Hey, is it just me or is Eustace actually starting to open up a little more? I guess there's always a silver lining, huh? Aww. Oh. Yes, he's growing as a person. So, where to next? I'm guessing I can't leave the Lake Elm Wetlands too. This must be the door that leads to the wetlands. I don't think I need to use it. All right, into the main, well, the, uh, the foyer. <laughs> well, we're in the foyer. This is the foyer. Into the frontal park section. Save just in case I accidentally blunder in anything. Can't save or always saving. Okay, sorry. Your always saves more important than my standard save. I see. Ah, uh, if only I knew how to pace this out properly. You know what I mean? With a normal standard sweep, I could do it, but because of the event nature of this and tickets and all that. All I can do is talk to everyone first. It's literally all I can do. And if we have to do it again, this is a... Like a two hour sweep for talking alone, it feels like. Actually, there's a lot less structure for the rest of the place. Good evening, did you enjoy the send-off party at the guest house? You did? Fantastical! We've got all our mainline attractions open for you here at the park. There's the Ferris wheel, the horror coaster, the castle of mirrors. Or if you'd rather take the fun to the beach, light up some sparklers, or try your hand at making your own cocktails. We hope you have a most magical tabulous time with all the special activities we laid out for you tonight. We've got all our mainline attractions open for you here at the park. There's the Ferris wheel, the horror coaster, the castle of mirrors. Oh, you're actually repeating. Damn you. Give me more. Hey, Pateri. Pateri with Machia selling balloons. <laughs> Hey Reem, wanna go for a drink or something? You can come to my stall, just make sure you set your bill. Don't go thinking you get special treatment just because you're a regular. But, wouldn't do that. Uh, oh, never mind. You two opened up a stall, huh? You got a problem with that? I gotta earn some extra cash to pay Cargo's medical bills somehow. Machias wasn't doing anything, so I figured he'd get help out too. I do have other responsibilities, you know. But after seeing how hard you worked to find Cargo, I figured this was the least I could do. I wasn't able to help you before, but I intend to make up for that. Machias? Ah, it all makes sense now. Well, hey, I know you got stuff of your own to deal with, fighting the government and all. Seems you've been pushing yourself pretty hard lately for once in your life. Doing your duty is fine and all. Just make sure you come home safe. You've got everyone in the Oss district worried sick. G got it. I never thought I'd hear you say something so considerate. Who are you and what have you done with the real Pateri? Real Pateri's gonna feed you your glasses if you don't shut up. <laughs> right, right. Let me buy you a drink later. Non-alcoholic, of course. Nice. Make mine a Gamji ginger ale. I'm about to drink you under the damn table. It's non-alcoholic. Nobody's gonna be under any tables. 
Underneath it all, you can tell how much Petiria cares about Machias. Everything depends on tomorrow. We're gonna to do our best so these two can keep their promise. Yeah, it's a relationship I'm <laughs> used to. This is a dynamic that's very true and very real. So you know why seven or what? I've got kids' hospital bills to pay for. <laughs> Petiria, what happened to your service smile? Awkward for a smile. <laughs> Female student. <laughs> Hell, Maccus, don't you dare start putting a symphony on me, you four-eyed twerp. <laughs> Maccus will learn to give as well as he gets to. That's when they're getting comfortable. Sweet! Damn you, Maccus. I'll drink you on the table next time. So take that to the bank and smoke it. Are you actually not old enough to drink? I had a chance to talk to a lot of different people here. It's really quite enjoyable. It looks like when Petiria was traveling, she was taking care of problems everywhere she went to. She's really grown up since last time. I guess I've caught some gray hairs. Once all is over, I'll buy you all a drink. Oh, Machias. I thought she was older than she is, obviously. Hey, Rex. Well, I just can't stop taking pictures. See a snap, there a snap, everywhere a snap, snap. Taking photos of pretty girls in my natural habitat. Damn, it's good to be home. That's speaking of pretty girls, Reed. Uh, seems to me there's one girl in particular that's captured your fancy. Just remember to be a good guy, okay? I'll be rooting for you. That's enough mind reading from you, Rex. I am taking pictures of cute girls in forever, but that's all changed tonight. Wait, evidence is in my inventory. Speaking of which, Rena, it seems to me like there's one girl that's really captured your heart. Just remember to be a good guy, okay? I'll be rooting for you. Evidence in my, uh... Why are they next to me? <laughs> the game knows. Glowing Mishy Tails, get your glowing Mishy Tails on sale now. Wear one of these and you'll be the envy of the park. How do I attach it? The embarrassment would probably kill me before the curse gets a chance to. I want a glowing Mishy Tail. If I make a popular Mishy Pecky, it's flying off the shelves. Get some while they last. The section can be awkward if you don't want to choose anyone yet, I guess. I never knew you were such an amusement park aficionado, Luis. Last time I was at Crossbell, I had an annual pass, so I pretty much know this place inside and out. Looks like Luis is giving you the grand tour. Yep, we're planning on meeting up with Lauren Fee a little later. But for now, we thought it might be fun to spend some time with the current four students. We may be alumni, but we're really just following Luis's lead. Well, when it comes to Michelin, I'm practically a professor. Come on, you three, I'll give you the definitive amusement park experience. Free? You want me to come as well? Well, I guess it could be interesting. Oh, go have fun, Celine. Cats don't get to ride amusement park rides every day. I don't know. Cop probably sneaks him. <laughs> this is like the, the game going, the one we want you to choose, the one you're actually going to choose. <laughs> Mishy's favourite food is honeydew melons. Not many people realise how to certainly he is when it comes to food. I certainly had no idea. Who knew you were so bourgeo bourgeoisie, as Becca says? Use the bourgeoisie! By the way, I thought I heard someone calling my name. Guess my imagination's running wild. Was it another cat? Hey, Pleep. Hey, Celine. I brought you some drinks. Ah, <laughs> Yes. Oh, thank the goddess. I was about to kill over. Wait, I'm supposed to be in character right now. Not sound ungrateful or anything, but do you think you can pass it over without anyone noticing? Oh, right, right. Sorry about that. I think I just walked in on something I wasn't supposed to see. Is that who I think it is inside there? How long is she... No, never mind. I shouldn't be prying any more than I already have. Oops, that was a close one. I need to be more careful. I don't want to crush anybody's dreams, after all. Uh, me hee hee Hi there. Hope you're having a me hee tactical time tonight. Oh, Michette. Keep up the good work in there. Enjoy yourself, Celine. The ride I need to take Altina on in the future. The future that is an indeterminate amount of time that possibly will happen once. That's very nicely lighted though. Put like Bowser somewhere nearby. But in front of us as well. Sydney. 20%. Is anyone a gambler? Hmm. Aren't the others here yet? Oh, uh, yeah, I asked Ken Meyer along, but there's no sign of them. Come on, guys, where are you? 
I mean, with Maya, there's like a 50-50 chance the best of her showing up to anything, but I never expected Kurt to flake out on me. Wait a minute. This is my chance. Should I ask Ada to ride the Ferris wheel with me one-on-one? -on -one? Uh, are you right, Sydney? You're looking rather intense. Looks like Sydney ended up getting to spend some time alone with Ada without even planning it. I guess hoping he doesn't mess things up. Is this even a good idea? She turns me down now. I'll be right back to square one. Um, Sydney, can you hear me? Don't overthink it. Just do it. This is a photo op shop again. The Ferris wheel looks really magical when it's lit up at night. Lots of photos, obviously. Good. Let's send it to Rex when we get a chance. Alright, and that's the event for that. So we'll skip that for now. What's our next picture on the list? Should I send Rex the photo day yet? Rex could take hey, it himself. How's it hanging? It's real like right next to the Let me take a peek at the goods. Whoa, not bad. Here's a little something for your troubles. Photo of Rose and Celine. Ah, thanks. Paul's unity rating has continued to increase. Ever, ever higher, right? Where are we looking at? I scrolled down way too far, didn't I? Gotta go from the top. I suppose they were supposed to get that one first. Hey! Celine's taller? You literally know her as your mum now. Good relationship. Hey, sir! Please don't move the reach. What is it? Stay where you are. There was a piece of waffle right by your foot. I didn't want you to get your shoes dirty. I'm sorry if my help was unwanted. No, thanks for helping me out. <laughs> He's still working away. Good, I've completed my cleaning patrol now. Thank you for being so tidy when you use our facilities. And looks like I'm done, so I can go home now. He's working late into the night. There's a lot of guys here, that's for sure. So there's a Mishy show. I mean, where to start? We've got the Una family. We've got a mix of other crossbow denizens. We've got an event happening over there as well with Crow and the gang. Ah, oh, this is a bit of thing, and Randy's on the phone. I guess, of course, we start here, right? <coughs> um, Shara, have you considered just ever so slightly showing your pace of hair? Or slowing your pace of hair? You're drinking like fish with alcohol. <laughs> Sorry. You're drinking like a fish with alcoholism. <laughs> yeah, that would be the response. Ah, oh, don't be such a wet blanket. First time we get to go out in a while and you want to ruin all the fun? No, no, that is hardly what I... Well, I suppose there's no harm in cutting loose this evening. Allow me to join you in the festivities. I don't think so. You need to take it easy. Remember what the doctor told you about giving your body time to heal? Fair, I suppose. <laughs> don't worry. When all this is over and you're fully recovered, we'll go out for a really wild night. We'll call up Ina. Hit all of the bills best parts and party till dawn. <laughs> uh, as tempting as that sounds, I wonder if we could dial it back just a little tonight? Did you say something? Nothing at all, my dearest. I wonder who this Ina is. Anyway, it really seems like only Sharon and Muller could get away with treating the prince the way they do. Oh hey, while you're here, there's something I've been meaning to give you, Ree. Yeah, this is my Pom Party account ID. I never would have guessed you played Pom Party by the amount of exclamation, uh, question marks there were. Let's play a game or two sometimes. Sure, Pom Pom Party against Oliver. Oh great, thank you. You know, Cher, you really are my one and only. Given the events this evening has in store, I'll keep you company as you drink, but I'll make sure you do so in moderation. Are you gonna pour, or are you gonna keep talking? Right, here you are. <laughs> He's the boss. <laughs> uh, I understand. Say, aren't there some things you needed to say to Miller? Later, perhaps. I'll let him have some fun with his old army buddy for now. I'll speak to him when he's done. You sure you're not taking him for granted? Never. He is my best friend, after all. What a way to spend an evening. A night like this really makes a drink taste even better. Sherazad's face might be getting a little red, but there's no doubt about it. She definitely knows how to hold her alcohol. Phew, being around Cher often ends in drinking far too much. 
You do still have matters to attend to after this, so do try not to get dragged into any drinking games I've ever been. Ah, sure, I'll try. So if there is a drinking party going on, Cher is already pretty drunk before that even happens. I'm guessing, of course, but I think it's an educated one, considering the people that were there at the quest location. Let the games begin. Let's do this. That was a bad position. I guess I should get rid of that to get the extra points at this point. Let's go there. Green here lands next to a red. I'm gonna explain to you my thought process. Now get quadrilla drinky bean. If I drop a red there now, I'll be able to get the extra one. And the green combo, and the yellow combo. Go away! Stop it, you evil man! Wait, he's getting even more! Where the hell is my yellow? There we go. I felt like I was waiting for that for, like, forever! He's gonna kill me now. He's gonna take me out. I know it. He's gonna get me. Amos, thank you for the follow. See, I can play that and look at that. No. A multi talented man, I am. Do I play defense or not at this point? I really want a green. Take this, I love you. <laughs> you have bested me. <laughs> I have bested him. I got way better than this during the gameplay, didn't I? <laughs> ice cream on a summer evening is even more delicious than usual. So why don't you try one of our yummy Mishy ice creams? You convinced me. Good, good hard sell. Oh hey, Instructor Reen. You'll have to excuse us. We really didn't mean to interrupt your party. But once the kids heard about it, they just wouldn't take no for an answer. Hey, don't worry about it. You're more than welcome to join us. I'm sure it's been a while since you last got to spend some quality time with your family anyway, huh, Yuna? It really has. Even Dad managed to get the evening off for a change. And having Michelin all to ourselves is just icing on the cake. Laddie, it is. You guys have fun now. Of course, this theme park is the pride of Coswell. I hope you enjoy it too, Instructor. Huh, I sure am so far. All the children love Mishy. They want to see all the other attractions too. It's going to be a busy night. Make sure you also enjoy yourself. Sounds like I should take Yuna to this so her siblings can be there. Even though they are here. Having the run of Michelin is something I never imagined, even in my wildest dreams. This place is the pride of Coswell. Hope you have a great time, Instructor. How are the kids doing? Oh, the special show is about to start! I can't take it, I can't wait any longer! Oh, you're really into this, huh? Have a great time, Nana. Thank you! Today's show, they're going to reveal the real identity of Mecha Mishi. Dad made arrangements for the show that was supposed to start next month for tonight! Wow, I'm so glad Mum gave in and brought us here! All it took was some whining, haha! <laughs> Mecha Mishi's awesome! I knew all along that Mecha Mishi wasn't evil! Special mission show. I can't take it. I can't wait any longer. We'll see you in the future. The bonkers Mishy show with that bonkers outie that he has. <laughs> Tio here. <laughs> Stars in her eyes. I can't believe we get an advanced performance of the latest Mishy show. This is amazing, Jingo. Seriously, it's going to be a hell of an episode. Mac Mishy only showed up a few months back, so I was surprised when they made up so fast. And then, boom, things got real crazy. Can't afford to miss this. You know so much about Mishy. Are you a big fan, Jingo? You kidding? This is all super basic stuff. Alright, then should we cheer Mishy on? Yeah, ready when you are. Yay, Mishy! There are really two peas in the pod. I knew you were one of us, Jingo, but I truly never would have guessed that you were this big a fan of Mishy. Perhaps I have finally found a true friend for life. Munch, munch, woof. 
Cerberus gobbled up a large piece of meat on the bone. Looks like you're really enjoying that, huh? I've been working hard, but I'm afraid I'll need to ask for your help tomorrow too. Woof! I just need to check something quickly before we continue on this. 12 pages, okay. <laughs> just timings. I do monthly events to spice up the Mishy Show. They post a schedule on the Orwell Net, as you'd expect in this day and age. As you'd expect in this day and age, sure. Randy, what's going on? Doing alright here. Make sure you go to bed at a good hour. No staying up late drinking. Yeah, I know. But I think I sleep better if I got a good night kiss. Doesn't matter if it's over the communicator. A kiss? Ah, oh, I guess it can't do any harm since it's just over the communicator. What are you talking about, you idiot? G good night! <laughs> Never change, Muriel. Anyway, I think Reed's listening in on us. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. The person you were just talking to, her name's Muriel. We used to work at the Crossbow Guardian Force together. We kept running into each other, but she's working with the Resistance now. Eh, we probably sounded like a couple of kids just now. Kinda makes you laugh, huh? <laughs> Not at all, Randy. Looks like you really care about her. I don't know about that. Besides, it's not like anything's gonna happen with things the way they are now. Anyway, let's worry about tomorrow instead. Okay, Randy. Yeah, looks like Tia Totson's obsessed with Mishy as ever. She hopes she won't be too worn out when we meet up with the others later. I just don't get why they're so fired up. What's the big deal about some dumb Mishy show? This is kiddie stuff. Yona, did you say something? Because if you want me to post your daily little secrets all over the orbital net, feel free to keep talking. And keep that camera steady. You better capture every minute of this. Oh, and while you're making up for your stupidity, get me some more cola and chips. They're good stuff. What am I, your slave or something? <laughs> you wanna really pick the wrong girls to piss off. So, I mean, am I a slave or what? But the slave driver's too scary to say no to. Slave really sucks. <laughs> you deserve that. Ashley, you're here. The one and only. I don't really know why, but I was invited too. Probably something to do with offering my services in the operation tomorrow. Tomorrow's operations, huh? I see, that's encouraging to hear. Well, I'm taking care of Jingo and all that, so putting duty before Mira isn't all that bad. It's a nice short chance to really spread your wings, Ash and Chevalier. I fully intend to do just that. Can ask me to rent out the whole of Michelin for a send-off party instead of the usual payment? Eh, well, it's no wool off my bum. As long as Jingo's happy, I guess it was worth it. Ashley seems to really care for Jingo. We don't know what tomorrow will bring, so we should make the most of it tonight. It's glad as well that Jingo can have a something childish in her life as well, despite the fact she's dealing with the criminal underworlds and whatnot. Do you morons ever think about anything other than what you want? Hey, are you even listening to me? George, Crow, you too. Yeah, we just don't have a good excuse. Oh, I guess I should apologize for my actions during the Civil War. I think so too, but Angie, you're not blameless either. You shouldn't have run off to the cemetery on your own without saying anything two months ago. Uh, I know that you felt bad about planning to dig up Crow's grave, but you could have said something and gotten someone else's perspective. You didn't explain George's actions in Calvin either. T Toa, are you angry at me? <laughs> no, of course not. I'm not angry at all. Not even a little. It's not what she's saying that makes this awkward. Those relentless logic at times like these is terrifying. Doesn't help that she's been drinking too. The real Toa is out. Hey, you should be listening to this too. Don't know that this has nothing to do with you. As graduates of fours, you need to behave more respectably. Uh, understood. Roger that. Uh, well, I dropped out, so you can't call me a graduate. <laughs> nice try, Crow. You may have dropped out, but regulations state that you can always re-enroll. If you end up at the branch campus with me and Reen, well... Oh, hell no! Being your students would be bad enough, but if I were Reen's? You brought this on yourself, you know. If that happens, you better get to studying. It's been a long time since I've seen the four of them together like this. I'm sure they realize how unlikely it is, too. Besides, until we manage to put this great Twilight business to an end, I'm living on borrowed time. Yep, any way you slice it, my being here contradicts reality itself. Doesn't matter what you, Adios, or anyone else has to say about it. My fate's not gonna change one bit. 
but they're smiling and staying positive. They really are something special. Yeah, Reen, don't be a downer on that whole thing. I thought George and Angelic would be getting some quality time together. We bumped into them and now it's all four of us hanging out like always. <laughs> so that's what happened. Hey, wait, i got a great idea, man. How about you and Toa hang out? It'll give me the chance to sneak off and chat someone up. What? Crow? Yeah, I think that's our cue to leave, George. Sounds good, but you know, I don't think it's me you want to spend time with. Well, with Kia, Ren, Tita, and Tio around, oh, we should acquaint ourselves with Sully too. Wow, she's really missing the point. Alright, guess it's time to head to the next attraction and have a few more drinks. But first, I'm going to say goodbye to all the beautiful ladies here. Sure, sure, just don't go too crazy. weird. <laughs> well, that's a good point for me to stop. Just try and enjoy yourself. Toa? Well, that's right. It looks like Andy had a gift for me. She picked up something for me during her trip around the continent. I think she ordered an Eastern style dress for me. There were some issues with shipping though since everything's so chaotic right now. That's a shame. I would have liked to see it too. <laughs> well, even if it made it here, I'm not sure when I'd be able to wear it. It's more of a party dress than casual wear. Guess I'll just have to wait for the right opportunity. Sounds great. I'm excited to see you in it, Toa. That's how you lead people on again. Stop it, Reen. Stop it. Well, you've been walking around most of the park. Are you feeling hungry? Army Shit Grill will fill that hole in your stomach. Ah, oh, you've sold me. Thank you. Gotta pay up, right? So another section swept. Another section complete. That still leaves two more sections before we can do an event. <laughs> Yikes. I'm just going to see how many people are in each area right now. No, oh, not much here, that's for sure. Oh, don't tell me. More? Alright, let's go check out that castle thing next. Come on! Estelle, would it kill you to slow down a little? You did just ride the horror coaster over and over until you got the high score. You're acting like a little girl in the candy store. Come on, we got the whole place to ourselves. Be a waste not to enjoy it. Oh, come on, you two. We have a castle to storm. All right, all right. I suppose we don't get an opportunity like this every day. Let's go. I mean, you have in the past. <laughs> Looks like you're all having fun. Hmm, well, yeah. It's been way too long since we could just enjoy ourselves as a family. It's true. I've been busy with school, and Estelle and Joshua have been running around all over the continent. Hey, the first time we've seen Dan in six months with the board the Panagral. I didn't realize you'd been apart for so long. But if that's the case, shouldn't you be spending time with him now? Nah, it's alright. He deserves a chance to catch up with his old friends anyway. Besides, he's got some business to take our care of, doesn't he? Nothing gets by you, huh? Sounds like he's planning to head out around 10pm, so we'll have a chance to see him off then, at least. We have some business of our own to finish up before then anyway. Mm -hmm. We do have a little more time together, but I did promise Tita I would meet up with her. I guess you two will just have to enjoy a nice long ride on the Ferris wheel without me. That would actually be kind of... Ah, uh, Ren! Now is not the time! <laughs> Thanks for the thought, though. <laughs> Whether it's his family or lovers, the bond between these guys is rock solid. I'm just making them with a crown, taking a look at the attractions. I know you have a lot on your mind, but you should try to do the same. Don't let your worries keep you from a fun evening. Yeah, I'll try. Thanks, Joshua. We've visited so many places over the past few years, but we've never really stopped to hang out as a family. I know tomorrow won't be easy, so I want to spend today with the people I love. Nobody should have to wake up tomorrow with any regrets, you know? Agreed. I'm trying not to. Ah, oh, what a perfect opportunity to do something romantic, and they completely wasted it. You agree with me, don't you? Oh, well, I think it's up to each couple to move a relationship forward at their own pace. That's just boring. At least it is to me, as the mischief-loving kitty and family member of these two. I guess that's fair, but enough of the meddling. By the way, speaking of mischief, do you play Pom Party? I had my brother's Arcus too made an account. We should play together sometime. Hacked. Um, you really shouldn't... Ah, oh, never mind. Alright, maybe we can play a little. Go easy on me, though. You now play Pom Pom Party against Ren. Well, I just played a game of Pom Pom Party. Meanwhile... 
Oh, Vincent, isn't it a simply enchanting night? Indeed, the elegance of the Castle of Mirrors, the sky overflown with glistening stars. But Margarita, their beauty only reaches its pinnacle when reflected in your eyes. My, you always know just what to say. You know, Vincent, if you ever wanted to propose, I could think of no setting more perfect than this lovely night. It is quite lovely, yes. How do I really feel about Margarita? The emotional attraction is clearly there, but am I so superficial as to be put off by her appearance? Love is blind and I do love her. I do. Do I? Would I be struggling so if it was so simple? Vincent looks like he's going through some kind of inner turmoil. On such a romantic night as this, honey words flow more readily than wine. But what of my heart? Has it truly opened itself to Margarita or will my vanity win out? <laughs> my Vincent looks so adorable when he's blushing. <laughs> Let's help you along. Oh my! Thank you ever so much! If you don't mind, I'll dig right in. My, what a fascinating dish! Alright, well, we won't check in there. We won't check anything else. That is where we're going to bring this part of the sweep to an end. For now. It's time to read a bedtime story, right? Look at those picturesque views, though. We've got Palm and a play, but I think I might leave that for the next uh, time. Because we literally just played Palm and two games of Vantage Masters in the last bit. So maybe it's good to spread that out a little bit more. We'll palm that on. But there's so much more to check out. There's one more area to check out. And then we start off the actual events. The rides. The whatnot. And we see how this progresses with people moving around maybe during the night. No. That is the question. And yes, of course, it always ends at a bit where we want to keep on going. That's the whole point of a cliffhanger. It can't not happen. <laughs> we just want to keep playing. But then we'll be late into the night. It's almost midnight. After all. So, part three, Tamara's decision. Let's read A Cocoa Panda's Tell and come back for this next time. My name is Tamara and I'm a Cocoa Panda. I prefer to do things of my own, so I don't spend a lot of time with the others in my pack. When I'm in a crowd, all I can see is everyone hiding their true intentions, suddenly fighting over territory, obsessing over social standing, giving fruit, just to make sure someone else owes them a favor. It all makes me sick. That's why I moved my bed out to the edge of the camp. I thought I could avoid all that stuff, live on my own and solve my own problems. But Wee Wee, a panda I'd known since we were cubs, was always pestering me. Both usually in the same part of camp, so why don't we hang out for a while, she'd ask. When you're in the same part of camp because you moved your bed close to where mine is, I'd think to myself, Tamara, stop, you can't eat that fruit, it's rotten, she said, grabbing my fruit out of my hand. Honestly, I'd rather eat rotten fruit than have to beg someone else for theirs. Why didn't you call for help as soon as that bracken monkey attacked you? She grabbed me, tears still in her eyes. I didn't have an answer. Maybe deep down, part of me knew I was in trouble. She'd come to my rescue. You might like the idea that you're some strong, independent loner, but in reality, when you push everyone away, you're just being self-absorbed. She was right. Anytime things got truly difficult for me, I'd end up relying on her help in the end. I was only being so stubborn because I wanted everyone to think I could handle things on my own. This whole time, I'd just been acting tough, but I couldn't keep it up anymore. Anyway, I don't work hard at all. I'm just a pathetic excuse for a panda who's done nothing but take advantage of your kindness. I was only fooling myself, thinking I was fine on my own. I'm such an idiot. But it was too late now. She probably couldn't even understand what I was saying anymore. She'd become a wild beast. I watched as she approached the bracken monkey, snarling. I only took a few quick strikes from her before the monkey was collapsed in a heap on the ground. I could tell that she wouldn't be waking up anytime soon, but I knew I couldn't relax just yet. My opponent defeated Wee Wee. We're gonna Yui Yui <laughs> began to cram gnaw on the fern like crest on his head. I could only imagine that she saw it as just another plant in a feral state. Yui Yui, stop! I pleaded. Don't eat that! This isn't like you! I grabbed her and tried to pull her away, but it was no use. She was the strongest cocoa panda I knew. Even if I hadn't been exhausted from the battle, I wouldn't have been able to budge her. I wasn't about to give up though. I couldn't let my best friend lose herself like this. I looked around for a way to help her and I saw my weapon lying on the ground nearby. I thought that if I hit her with it just right, it might bring her back to her senses. But no, it was too risky. If I messed up, it'd just make her angry. And if I had to fight her, I could end up going feral too. Yui Yui wouldn't want that. You said you didn't want to lose me. 
I looked at her and dusted myself off. Well, I don't want to lose you either. And I don't care what I have to do. It's time I stopped acting tough. I took a deep breath and shouted for help as loud as I possibly could. I shouted until I was completely out of breath. It was the first time in my life I'd ever asked for help, but I didn't care anymore. Getting Yui Yui back to norm was the only thing that mattered to me. In mere moments, our entire pack had come to my side. When we heard you finally asking for help, we were all so happy. The whole pack came and running, one of them said to me. I recognised him. He was the same panda who had shared his food with us the other night. I never knew he could move that quickly. He'd always seemed kind of dopey to me, but now his eyes were sharp and focused. It's Yui Yui. She got help protecting me and now she's gone feral. But please, I need your help to calm her down. I stumbled over my words, trying to get them out as quickly as I could. Everyone banded together to drag Yui Yui away from the monkey and hold her still. Then with a swift blow to the head, they knocked her out. She slumped to the ground and lay there, as if she'd simply fallen asleep. That ought to do the trick. I better go and grab some of her favourite berries. The smell will help wake her up, the helpful Cocoa Panda said. The others all went to gather some berries and place them in a neat little pile right in front of Yui Yui's face. After a few moments, her nose began to twitch, smelling the sweet fragrance, and her eyes fluttered open. Huh. Okay, she said, still a little bit groggy. I can believe my eyes. She was back to her old self. I was immediately overcome with relief, so much so that I might have even cried a little. It was then that I finally understood how she must have felt when she came to save me. Tamara, are you okay? My head hurts a little, but other than that I'm fine and... Huh? What are all of you doing here? She looked at the rest of our pack with a bewildered expression. It was no wonder she was confused. I bet she never expected me to swallow my pride and ask the whole pack for help. Everyone looked on with warm smiles as I took Yui Yui's paw in mine. I decided there and then that I wouldn't try to act tough anymore. I was going to tell her exactly how I felt. It's just like you said, it only makes sense for us all to help each other out. I turned to the rest of our pack. Thank you everyone for helping us. And thank you Yui Yui, I said, turning back to her, always being there for me. From that day on, I decided to give the other Cocoa Pandas a chance. It turned out that working together isn't so bad every now and then. We're all friends now, and the days I spend with Yui Yui and the others are filled with smiles. They are filled with smiles indeed. So ends a Cocoa Panda's Tale. So, we have one more section to check out. We'll head there next time and start the event. See how things unroll. How many more sweeps will we have to do? What will we have to do? Okay. We're going to have drinks with Emma. That's for sure. And we'll see how the night proceeds with Anima. And Cassius Bright are waiting for us as well. So I'll see you next time on that eventide with Reen. Have a great time. A night. I hope you enjoy the video. My intro has gone wrong. So I should just exit stage left. Say see you next time. Bye bye.